What is going on everybody? My name is Nico and welcome to the first Pokemon Scarlet and Violet competitive Pokemon guide. These are going to be, it's going to be a series here on the channel where I break down different Pokemon that you're going to be able to use competitively in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet and break down different move sets, item sets, you know, EV spreads, all that fun stuff. And this time around with BDSP, I pretty much only played singles OU and with Sword and Shield, I pretty much exclusively played uh, VGC. But now I'm going to be covering both. I'm going to be doing both singles and VGC. So I, there will be chapters placed throughout the video for you guys to skip to exactly what you want to see if you're here for singles OU. You, that'll be at the start of the video or if there's vgc stuff that'll be at the end of the video and obviously i have to compare and contrast because some pokemon are going to be viable in singles and others are not going to be viable in the other so you know if one's good in vgc it could be bad in singles ou but if one's good in singles ou it could be bad in vgc so there may be less for each pokemon depending on where it kind of thrives at but that's just something to note going into this and if you want to see more of this stuff make sure you are subscribed to more pokemon content in general from me make sure you're subbed to the channel but today we're going to be talking about Quackwavul. Quackwavul, I don't even know how to pronounce it, but I love this Pokemon. I really like it. And let's get into it. So first up, like I said, I'm going to be starting with the singles OU format. Single battles are super fun. And I think Quackwavul is going to be very, very fun to use in a single battles format. It reminds me a lot of Infernape, truthfully, uh, with its speed and its attacks. It really just does remind me so much of using Infernape, just a water Infernape, essentially. Uh, so the first set that I'm going to be using for this particular Pokemon is very, very similar to what you saw me use in BDSP with Infernape, and that is a Choice Scarf set. Choice Scarf, this Pokemon does get Moxie, which is super fun, because then when you knock out a Pokemon, you get even stronger, which is super, super fun to use. But the moves used on the Pokemon are Wave Crash, Close Combat, Ice Spinner, and U-Turn. That way, if you know you go into something that's not favorable, you can simply outspeed and you can U turn right out. Now, this game's fun because we have to talk about Terra types, and Terra types can make things very interesting. For Quackwavel, or Quackwavel, whatever, I'm gonna go with Quackwavel. It just sounds right because it's a duck. Quackwavel, for this Pokemon, the Terra types that I think are the best personally, what I think are potentially the best, are water. Water's very good offensively um because you know you get the extra stab on wave crash which is super fun also you could run uh what's the move called aqua step aqua step is the uh the signature move for quack Wovel, and it raises the speed point one you could also run that if you don't want to have the recoil uh potentially so that's an option as well but it gives you the water terra typing gives you extra stab on that which is going to do a lot of damage it's a very very powerful move wave crashes that's super nice but for more defensive typing, honestly, a grass typing isn't bad in for uh, Quackwavel. And the reason I say that is because then you're looking at fire types, ice types, and flying types, and bug types all being effective against you, super effective. However, you have the coverage to outspeed all of those and knock them out. So, for example, for the fire types, you have wave crash. For the flying types, you have ice spinner. In the bug types, you also have ice spinner. And then ice types, you have close combat. You have coverage for all of those options to get you out if you are a grass type, uh, terra type, which I think is pretty fun as a defensive option for Quackwavel. A lot of people aren't going to be expecting that, and it's going to be pretty, pretty nice, honestly. And if you have a grass Pokemon out that's going to outspeed you, you can terra type and change into grass, take the hit, and then knock it out with ice spinner. Just an option there. I think it's a fun, kind of goofy way to play uh, Quackwavel. In terms of the EV spread for this particular Pokemon, though, we're looking at 4 HP, 252 attack, and 252 speed with a jolly nature. So that way you are just fast, fast, fast. Now, the second option is literally the exact same with the exception of the nature. The nature simply changes to adamant. That way you have more damage. Honestly, this is the one I've been running more when I've been playing competitive battles, uh, just because with the Choice Scarf, you're still outspeeding most things in the format unless they're also Choice Scarf, so you really don't have to worry too much about having a Jolly Nature and having that extra speed stat. Next, if you wanted to switch things up, you can switch that Adamant Nature back over to Jolly so you get that extra speed, and you could give it a Life Orb. If you wanted to, you could potentially give this Pokemon a Life Orb, and that would be an effective way to use it in-game. Another way, very similar to Infernape here, you can use a Choice Band. If you wanted to have that extra power and just come in swinging, a Choice Band is a valid option to just get that extra power and go run it through. Obviously, you're going to have a Jolly Nature for this one as well but just power through enemies and knock them out. I prefer the speed 
but the choice band is an option if you think you're going to be able to rotate it effectively. Another set I've been using a lot on Quack Bubble is a Focus Sash set, still with 4 HP, 252 attack, 252 speed with a Jolly Nature, same move set as before, but the Focus Sash is really nice with Moxie because you can take that hit, get the extra boost of speed from Aqua Step, and then continue to start running the train with that increased speed. Finally, this one's not the one you're going to see used a lot, but if you really want to throw the opponent off and do something a little bit cheeky, you could throw an Assault Vest on this thing, and that would be kind of fun. Give it a little bit more in the HP stat, so a 156 HP EV with 100 attack and 252 speed. I think this has some potential to be goofy. You could even swap out the Jolly Nature here and give an Adamant Nature, and that could potentially be really, really goofy and fun for just giving you that extra power, but also making you a slight bit bulkier, so that way you can go in and you know handle some of these more interesting uh, opponents. I think this is just kind of a goofy set. I don't think it has as much viability as the other ones, but it's an option if you wanted to do something a little cheeky. But that concludes the sets that I really like using in uh, single battles obviously some Pokemon that are just off the top of my dome that are going to work really well with this particular Pokemon are things like uh, Clodzire is going to be great everywhere Clodzire is going to be super good all over the place Scizor obviously is a fantastic defensive typing if you need to swap out so some Pokemon like that more defensive stuff that you're able to get around is going to be a great option obviously the Clodzire is very good because if you get hit with an electro type attack you just switch into Clodzire it's ineffective so that kind of stuff is really going to help you out so those are the Pokemon that I would recommend just off the top of the head, Clodzire and Scizor. Obviously, Scizor is going to play into so many different teams because it's just good. But let's get into VGC. So I have two separate uh, Quack Bubble sets for VGC because I think this Pokemon actually has some fun potential, especially in these early metas where people are just kind of figuring stuff out. I feel like there is some potential for this Pokemon to be viable in a lot of different ways. So first up, I have a Quack Wiffle set with a Life Orb, Moxie as the ability, a Water Terra typing, or again, you can use Grass, it doesn't matter. Uh, Electric would also be a viable typing because, you know, then you're only weak to Ground type and you have Wave Crash and Ice Spinner to handle that. But those are a couple different options for the Terra typing if you wanted to get into that. Uh, wave Crash, Close Combat, Ice Spinner, and Detect for a VGC set. Uh, the Wave Crash, Close Combat, and the Ice Spinner give you so much viability. Ice Spinner's just there as coverage, honestly. I know it gets rid of terrain, but we're worried about the coverage. We want to focus on the, getting that extra ice coverage because it's just going to be that much more beneficial if a grass type comes into play or something like that. In terms of the spread, it's a 4 HP 252 attack and 252 speed with a jolly nature because we are trying to be fast and we are trying to knock out pokemon and that is really the only objective this is going to be a speedy sweeper is the game plan in this particular set i in the vgc stuff i really want to focus on pokemon that these pair well with because that's something you have to think about when you're going into vgc and making teams like that so the first is going to be something like Talonflame. Talonflame is going to pair very well with this because Talonflame is such a fantastic Tailwind setter. And Tailwind is going to play super effectively into the Life Orb, Super Speedy, Moxie, Quack Wibble. As long as you are fast and you can start knocking Pokemon out, this is going to give you a lot of options in terms of handling the battle and getting that Moxie boost. Obviously, we don't have Dynamax, so you're not going to be able to take as many hits as we could previously with something as fast as Quackable, but this is something that's going to be very effective in terms of just, you know, playing around. The Tailwind is going to help you out a lot for getting those Moxie stats up. Another option, obviously, is something, again, it's just another Tailwind setter. Any Tailwind setter is going to be very helpful for this Pokemon, so I have Noivern here as well as one on the list, or something a little cheekier, which I ran something similar to this in Pokemon Sword and Shield when I ran a Blastoise and DD team. Uh, but Ndidi is a great option here. Ndidi did lose Expanding Force in Scarlet and Violet, so one of its most effective ways of attacking is now gone, which is a bit frustrating. But something along the lines of Ndidi, it doesn't necessarily have to be Ndidi female, but something along the lines of Ndidi that can take a lot of hits, use Follow Me, you know, distract the other Pokemon from attacking uh, your Quack Wibble so you can get those Moxie boosts up. Something along those lines is going to be super helpful for this Pokemon with this particular set. Now, the next Quack Wibble set that I have and want to show with you guys is something that I think could be a lot of fun and kind of cheeky. And I think this Pokemon has a lot of potential to also be a support. I don't think you have to use it as just an offensive sweeper. It can be a fairly decent support Pokemon because of the uh, moves that it has access to in Scarlet and Violet. So, this particular set is very, very specific. 
It's very specific and it focuses on working with one Pokemon in particular, that Pokemon being Colossal. So when I made this set, I was thinking, how can I beef up another Pokemon? How can I make this Pokemon a support? And it has access to Helping Hand and Feather Dance, which is super fun because Feather Dance removes the target's attack, lowers it by two stages, which is huge. And Helping Hand, obviously, you're boosting the attack of your uh, other Pokemon on the field. So I gave it Aqua Jet, Helping Hand, and Feather Dance with Detect as well. Obviously, we just kept our Moxie because uh, why would we want to run Torrent instead? And then I gave it a Focus Sash with 252 uh, uh hp instead of attack i didn't want to give it more attack because obviously we're pairing this with colossal and we're going to be attacking our colossal in order to get the most out of this set so i didn't really want to give it any extra uh attack stat here so i gave it 252 hp with 252 speed and four special defense with a jolly nature and obviously like i said we're pairing this with colossal and obviously this colossal we want to have a water terra typing because we don't want to take uh, four times damage from an aqua jet here but we want a water terra typing on it with steam engine and the idea is you hit colossal with it get the steam engine off get that speed boost and go in and start running the show with colossal and using quackable as a you know a support pokemon whether it be to lower the attack stat with feather dance or to helping hand colossal and just keep you know knocking pokemon out that way i think it's a really fun set and honestly i think there's a lot that you can do with quackable in terms of the support stuff with feather dance helping hand it has access to taunt as well so there's a couple different things you could do i would also say instead of helping hand if you wanted to run taunt on this set that would be very effective as well but there's just a lot of options with this Pokemon. And obviously everything that I've shown here in this video is subject to change. You are able to kind of take what you learned here and warp it around and change these Pokemon stats to kind of fit whatever team you want to play. This video is more or less just to kind of give you guys ideas on what to do with these Pokemon. So that way you can start building your own teams around them. And I think it's just going to be a very fun series. So let me know in the comments below if you want to see a particular Pokemon uh, coming up. Obviously I'm going to be doing all the starters first because everybody's going to want to use their starters. So next we'll have Skeledurge and Meowscarada coming in in videos. And then I'm going to go to some of the other new Pokemon, like Clodzire for sure is getting a video. And then I will even dip into some older Pokemon because I think a certain Pokemon got some really cool stuff with new moves being added. For example, Scizor now has access to close combat. So there's a lot of cool stuff that you're able to do in this game in particular, especially with the Terra typing. So there will be a lot more of these in the future. And if you found this video entertaining and helpful, make sure you subscribe for more pokemon sword sword and shield yeah pokemon scarlet and violet i caught it i caught it this time i put it in another video and people keep calling me out pokemon scarlet and violet videos in the future and check out the discord where people over there playing pokemon all the time check out dubby it is my energy drink partner wherever the logo is super good stuff i got the dragon fruit lemonade flavor 10 percent off with code nico super super tasty and if you want to see more from me check out this video where i talk about everything you need to know in order to ev train your pokemon and then also check out this video where you can transfer your pokemon scarlet and violet save data to other consoles and go back and forth so check that fun stuff out but i hope to see y'all in the next video Peace.